Evacuate the island. I saw Jurassic Park and I was 16 years old. It taught me uh, a lesson about what uh, great movies can do. Uh, it, you know, it doesn't have to be for children. It can be something that makes everyone uh, in the audience children for those two hours. I wanted to tell a great story and, and I wanted something that was going to be able to entertain children. To me, it wasn't so much about the movie. It was more about our culture in, in general and like this desire for constant upgrades and, you know, entertain us more and a bit of a blasé attitude about the scientific technological and, and also natural wonders around us uh, because we have seen everything now. We have the internet. A little bit about you know the corporatization of science and the danger of bringing that need for money and profit into the scientific process. And then it's also, I think on a, on a larger scale, uh, and hopefully this is more for, for the children who watch it, it is about our relationship with the other living things on this planet uh, and the planet itself. A line in the movie that Irfan Khan says, dinosaurs, uh, or remind us how very small we are and how new. And that's one of the reasons why I'm, I'm fascinated by them, is in the same way that when you, you look up at the stars and you, are, you feel dwarfed and you feel very small and you recognize how, how completely microscopic your personal issues are and, and even this planet is in general, I think dinosaurs do the same thing in the context of our Earth. You, you recognize that you know, we are only the dominant alpha species on this planet because we are here right now. And if we were here 65 million years ago, we probably wouldn't even be here. We would disappear very quickly. I think you know the characters are are uh, presented in a little bit more of a very classical point-to-point -point storytelling in the way that it, that it's all designed. It's very simple and efficient and clean. And I'm, I'm very proud of that. And what it does do that I that I really love, if I could name one thing, is it allows the dinosaurs to become characters. And I really embrace the fact that the T-Rex in the last movie, ultimately by the end, you know, she starts off as a villain and then she saves everybody and she becomes a hero. And I thought that we could take that another step forward. And so there are several dinosaurs in this movie that by the time you get to the end, you kind of know them. You don't just know their mythology, but you know a little bit about their personalities. So when they fight, it's a little bit more, it's a little more loaded. There's, a, there's, there's stakes there that are a little more emotional. And when it all goes down, it's not just a bunch of computers punching each other. It feels like, you know, living things that you care about and, and you want to know who wins. And, uh, you know, that, especially for kids, that kind of stand up and cheer moment, which is, is difficult to manufacture. You have to, you have to earn it. And I think we have it in this movie. And, and I know I've, I've seen audiences react to it. And, and that, that moment where you just get this, you know, people, people having the time of their lives, that makes me, uh, makes me very happy.